Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and our very first video in a new series I'm kind of testing out the waters on on my channel and I'm going to share with you guys some tips, tricks and products that you can use in order to do at home spa services. So I know it's nice having your nails done every couple weeks and going to get waxing done but it does get a little bit expensive and pricey if you're going every few weeks. So I want to show you guys that you can do all of these services at home with a little bit of practice. So this very first video was requested by one of my subscribers on Twitter, Erin, thank you very much. And if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I'll leave my link to it in the down bar, but I just find that's the best way for me to be able to interact with you guys because I get the notification straight to my phone and I can comment back to you guys right away. All of the products that I'm going to be using today I will list in the down bar and I will also give you guys kind of a rundown on the basic pricing because things do range in prices depending on where you get them from. But you don't have to use all the same products that I'm using. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my recommendations in the down bar and for some of them I will give you rec like a couple different recommendations for certain things because it's all based on trial and error. You're going to find things that work for you that don't work for me or vice versa. So just do your research and try stuff out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So you're going to want to start off with natural clean nails. You're going to need a buffer block, which I've just cut into three smaller pieces. You're going to need a cuticle pusher. You are going to need some form of sanitizer. So 99% alcohol will work for this, but I prefer to use the NAS 99 by OPI. It's a nail cleansing solution that is specially formulated to use with gel and shellac, so it works the best for this process. You're going to need some lint-free pads. So you're going to want to make sure they're lint-free. If you do use a regular cotton pad, it's going to deposit little pieces of cotton and lint on your nails, which will cause your shellac to peel and lift. Of course, you're going to need a base coat. So the one I'm using today is the gel color by OPI, but you can use any that you like. You're going to need a top coat. So this is the Gelish Matte Top It Off Top Coat. Again, you can use anything that you prefer. And you're going to need a gel color color coat. So this is a white that I have in my collection. You're not gonna be able to use a regular polish, which I'll talk more about in a minute. And this is optional, but this is the CND Solar Oil. It's a cuticle oil, but you can use coconut oil as well. And of course you're going to need a light, so you can use either an LED or a UV light. Either will work, but you just want to make sure that the light has a mirrored surface. This is going to make sure you have an even curing. So the first step in the process is going to be to buff the natural nail. You're going to want to get the shine and any oils off your nails because this is what actually causes the peeling. Next, you're going to use a cuticle pusher to push back your cuticles and remove them. I just use the opposite side of that tool. You don't want any cuticle on the nail because if you get the shellac on there, it's going to peel from the top half of your nail. Shellac isn't meant to adhere to skin, so you will have problems if it does adhere there. Next, we're going to sanitize the nail using the NIS 99. This is just going to remove and dehydrate any of the oils on your nail. So starting off with our base coat, we're applying this in a nice thin layer. You're going to want to make sure that all of the layers of shellac that you apply are thin. The thicker you apply your shellac, the faster it's going to chip and peel. Now I'm setting this for 190 seconds. Now I'm just sharing with you guys how I apply it to my dominant hand using my non-dominant hand. So I start in the center of the nail, drag it down push it up towards the cuticle, and then do the side walls. This does take quite a bit of practice, but make sure you don't get any of the shellac on your skin. That's gonna cause peeling. Now we're going in with our first color coat. And again, I'm applying this in really nice thin layers to avoid any peeling. If you do get any on your skin, I just like to use the cuticle pusher and just make sure I remove it before we set it in the light. Don't worry if it's a little bit streaky and sheer. Going in with our second coat will definitely hit that opacity that we're really looking for. Once we have all of the first layer of shellac on, we're gonna go ahead and pop our hand back into the light for another 190 seconds. 
I'm using a UV light, which is why it's that long. Now we're gonna go in with our second coat, and as you can see, we're definitely increasing the opacity on this color. Now the reason I said you don't wanna use a regular nail polish, Regular polishes have certain chemicals and ingredients in them that do need to dry, where the gel and shellac need to be set in a light. Here I'm going in and using what's left on the brush and capping the ends of my nails. This is gonna help to ensure that the tip doesn't chip and set it for 190 seconds. Now we're going in with our top coat and again, we're gonna wanna use nice thin layers. Set that top coat for 190 seconds. Now we're gonna go in with our NAS 99 again, and this is just gonna remove the stickiness that you'll feel on the top of your shellac. And finally, we're going to be using our CND Solar Oil. The dehydration process can make the skin around your nails a little dry, so I just like to use this. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, we are all done. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!